Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing on the AT&T Fusion Dose, that is Spanish for two. Now, basically I bought this phone for unboxing and review purposes only, because I've been getting a lot of questions on my channel asking me if I was going to unbox it and do a review on it, so I bought it just to do that, and it will be going back. So, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I still do have my Galaxy S3 right there. Uh... But this is going to be an actual real unboxing. I haven't cut the box at all. So this is what you guys wanted me to do. But before I get into that, let's go ahead and look at the box. We got a new smartphone plan right there which says unlimited talk, text, and data for, what is it, $60 a month now? One gig of data, not unlimited data. Just one gig of data for, what, 60 bucks now? And this says flip open. Try it flip it open but it's okay here we go right here where it says flip open uh use activation code to get started oh it's 65 dollars a month for unlimited talk text and one gig of data that's a lot of money to be paying for a no contract phone for AT&T just to get one gigabyte of data my suggestion to you guys would just be to use Wi-Fi if you're thinking about using this phone for like internet purposes but right here, we have the Android Market, a 3.2 megapixel camera, just like on the old Fusion. My thing, my uh, guess is that it has no autofocus. It has a web browser, it's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth compatible. And uh, right there is Fusion 2, uh, Android. And then just shows you some more terms. It's basically the same box that AT&T has had for all their prepaid phones. And on the back, it's just their old, I guess plans so let's go ahead and unbox this since you guys always nag me in the comments saying this is not a real unboxing all oh, the box is already open well since you guys want to see me cut the box so bad this is what you're gonna get me cutting the box oh, I hope that I can do this on camera without me damaging it or messing up the box without Okay, uh, it's kind of hard to do this on camera, the setup that I got here. And trust me, I am unboxing it, as you guys can see here. Y'all wanted me to cut this box, so, hey, cutting the box just for you guys. Just for the people that nag me while the iPad falls, and I fix it, and it always seems to fall when I cut boxes, that's why I don't do them on camera, but you guys wanted it, so you're going to get it, and that would not be edited out just to have you guys suffer just because of that. Alright, the box has been cut, and now we can open this up. Here we are with the box, the AT&T Fusion 2. First thing that is in here is the battery. My guess is that it's a 1500 milliamp hour. And it is 1400 milliamp hours. I can already tell right now this phone is not going to have good battery life. From the Fusion 1, it did not have good battery life. But there's the battery. I'm going to set that off to the side right there. Pull this tray out. Put this right here. And then let me go ahead and get all the stuff out the way because this is going to be really hard. I'm trying not to make the iPad fall again. All right, so here's the box. There's uh, nothing else in it. So we can go ahead and set that off to the side. And uh, here's the data cable, you know, uh, the charger, and then just your terms and services and smartphone user guides. Basically stuff that people is never going to read. Um, here's the phone itself. This thing uh, is small. It has a 3.5 inch screen with a 800 megahertz processor. And it's pretty small, like, I don't know... It's probably because I'm so used to using the um, the Galaxy S3 why it feels so small to me. I'm just going to fix the camera a little bit. That's probably why it feels so small to me. But it has a 3.5 inch screen, 3.2 megapixel camera, speaker, headphone jack, power lock key, micro USB charging port. Nothing on the side and nothing on the other side but a volume rocker. So we'll get back to that in a couple of seconds. And then underneath here you get the... Um, SIM card, which I'm not even going to pop out, considering I do not need this, since I'm not going to use this phone as my personal phone, but we're just going to put that up there, and then uh, let's go ahead and get this battery popped in, 
Maybe you do you need a sim card to start it? Well, it's too late. I already dropped the sim card anyway. So let's go ahead. And just keep just keep stuff nice and neat. Fail again. Two fails in one video. That's nice. Real nice. Just to keep stuff nice and neat. Let's go ahead and cut that. And then just pull that out. Then on the back here, how do you remove this? How do you remove this? There's a diagram right there. I'm just going to wing it. I'm winging it. I'm winging it. I'm probably going to break it. Did it break? No, it didn't break. Okay. Uh, right there it has a micro SD card slot. It does not come with a card included, so I'm guessing this phone at least has one gigabyte of memory already on it. At least internal internal memory in. How do you put this battery in? Okay. So I'm going to put the battery in here. Battery. And uh, the power button is right here. Power on. There. I heard the vibration. Uh... Go ahead and put the back on here, and let's take off these stickers so you guys can get that good sticker sound. Three, two, one. This one's really stuck on here. Well, that wasn't good at all. That one was stuck on there. That's why you guys didn't get it. But uh, let's go ahead and take off this one. Maybe you guys can get it with this one. There you go. That's the sound you like. That's the sound you like. Here it is. Uh, AT&T screen. It has a 3.5 HVGA screen. Rethink possible. And did it say on the box if it was gingerbread or Froyo or whatever? Let's see what we got here. No, it doesn't say nowhere on the box if it's Froyo or not. So I guess we gotta check that out. I'm pretty sure it's probably gingerbread. And this phone takes forever to boot up. Just like with the first one. It took like 40 years for it to boot up. I should have turned this on while I was taking out the stuff out the box. But in the meantime, let's do a little bit of a comparison to the Galaxy S3. Here's how it looks. Compared in size. Size. And there's a vibration. I just heard once again. So this phone does not look nothing like the um, Ascend 1 at all. It's like more squared-ish. Looks like an iPhone almost, but let's just go ahead and touch it. Touch the little Android guy so we can get started here to connect to Wi-Fi. We're going to skip that for right now. We're going to skip that as well. There's a glare. It's a really big glare, and it's kind of messing the whole thing up. But you guys will live, right? I'm living just fine. So here it is. It's loading. This looks like gingerbread right off the bat. The screen on here looks pretty good, actually. Uh, this phone was only a hundred dollars at Radio Shack, so yeah, it has an eight hundred megahertz processor. Um, probably not that cheap. At least you slide it down, you know. Uh, let's see what we got here. Go to settings. Uh, about phone stats. And my. Other phone goes off as I'm doing this. Yeah, Android 2.3.6. So it is gingerbread, in fact. So yeah, that screen on here actually looks pretty good. It looks like the uh, Optimus Elite screen. Uh, let's go into camera. I know you guys want to see the camera on here. Let's see. I'm trying to do this my best. Camera. Where are you? Camera, 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 camera. I know my... What in the world? Does this phone not come with a camera? Oh, there it is. Okay, camera. I'm stupid. So here's the camera, and right off the bat, the camera looks okay. There's no autofocus, I guess. Nope, there's not even no autofocus. Snap a picture, that's how it looks, that's how it takes it. This phone is really cheap. Well, what do you expect for a $100 phone? So that was my unboxing on the AT&T Fusion 2 for AT&T Go Phone. But here's the Android keyboard that it comes with. I know you guys like to see the keyboards in these unboxings. The vibe. Do you guys hear that? 
the vibration on here is really loud. Uh, yeah, let's try to type out a quick match. It's a quick brown fox is doing a unboxing review. Yeah, I don't know. My spelling is horrible on this keyboard. Let's see what else it comes with. Uh, uh, it doesn't come with any other keyboards, it looks like. It's just this one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem... Okay, select input. Oh, it comes with swipe. And the animations are turned off, and it comes default turned off, so that's a bad sign already. But this phone may be good. I mean, the bump up in the processor may have it a little bit better. But basically, that was my unboxing for the. F Where's the lock key? Okay. That was my unboxing for the phone. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.